I got drunk at the gay 90s this weekend, and I literally leaned into my own wife, and I went, you know you married a dog, right? Like, it means he runs around on me. Who the fuck says that? What a piece of shit. You said it in front of our friends, too. Yes. Mr. Noble. And you know what's funny is I said it in front of Nick, and then Nick says to me, he goes, hey, man, you got to have more confidence. I literally went to Nick. I go, no, 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 no. You don't, you understand. don't understand what I'm trying to say. I don't mean like dog, like that woof, was, woof. That was like all the confidence in the world in what yes. you said. Um, Fauci's pangolin already says the gay 90s again, which, by the way, I've wanted to go there for years. And until I gained uh, some people in my life, the most uh, beloved people in my life, a few of them, including Aaron, I had never been able to go because I'm not going to go by myself. It's not a safe endeavor. Uh, the gay 90s is maybe one of the most fun places I've ever been uh, for a good night. Good night out. Uh, drinks, dancing, lights, sweating, everything. It's foam parties. I've been to my first foam party ever uh, recently, which was really, really fun. Um. Definitely check out the gay 90s sometimes. It doesn't really matter if you're gay, and I think all of us are a little bit gay anyways. Somewhere in there, we just don't like to admit it. And that's okay. Steve Jefferson says, where's the fingering bitches store at for science? <laughs> I don't know. I'm looking for it Aren't still. They, I think they're both closed down now. They're both shut down. Like, one of them was going to reopen as something, and then it never did. No, it's in Sock Rapids. Pure pleasure. Yeah. Right. You know there was two pure pleasures, right? Nick Ricada took us there. Do you, do you, do you know... <laughs>